what's up guys welcome back once again it is me mo guys we're getting so close we are honestly getting so close to maxing this base out you can see that almost all of the walls are maxed out guys in fact we only have seven left uh oh never mind we don't just have seven because we have enough gold to upgrade one more right there but you can see we've only got six walls left guys that's it right there those six walls is all that we have left to do and at 500,000 each, that means we only need 3 million more gold. So hopefully we can get that in the stream this afternoon. But we're not finding as much loot up here in Crystal. That's what sucks. So we are finding okay Dark Elixir. Obviously, I have 31,000. We're going to be spending it all today upgrading uh, some troops. But um, it is hard to find as much gold as up here easily like we used to. Now, we did find a couple, guys. Uh, I wish I could show y'all, and yes, I did get three-starred. I'll show it to you, okay? It was freaking Lava Loonian. Of course, I'm going to lose the Lava Loonian at down all eight. Um, but look at this attack right there at the top. We can't show it to you. We just missed being able to show it to you guys. 340,000 gold, 263,000 Dark Elixir. Or, ugh, I wish I got that much Dark Elixir. 263,000 Elixir and 912 Dark Elixir. Now, as you guys know, I am going for trophies. So, some of these won't have that much loot on them, but they will have... Um, trophy. So the top one right there, 534 Dark Elixir. Let's go ahead and watch that just so you guys can see what I'm doing, uh, how we're working our way up right here. So I saw the Dark Elixir in there. I was like, yes, I'm going to get that. Easy, easy, easy. Um, but the biggest problem with this raid right here was this dragon. So I drop off a heal spell. I try and get my archers in there, but of course they're just going to be completely distracted uh, by the buildings on the outside. They're not going to head in. They finally get in there. But the dragons are, but the dragons just doing so much work. The archers are getting the dark elixir from me, which is what I wanted, obviously. But it took them way, way too long to take that dragon down. Um, so we lost a good amount of our uh, giants. We also lost a good amount of our giants from those spring traps. Um, so I had to prematurely drop my uh, healer down there just to try and keep them up, which ended up getting her killed by that air defense. But we were able to salvage it. Uh, which I was happy with because the main reason that I attacked it, like I said, was because I wanted to get the Dark Elixir right there by the wall. Um, anytime you see 500 Dark Elixir or so uh, and you can get it pretty easily, go for it. Like, just wait for your troops to train up, especially if you're not training up too time intensive, uh, you know, too time intensive of attack strategies. Uh, but you can see our king's down here. He's taken out. Uh, the rest of this gold for us. So we were able to get only like 40, 50,000 gold almost, if even that. So uh, that was a pretty sketchy attack, guys. I was nervous about it um, because that dragon came out. And dragons are seriously my worst enemy when it comes to uh, clan castles. What is y'all's? What is y'all's worst enemy when it comes to clan castles? That's a good question that I have for y'all is what is your worst enemy when it comes to clan castles? For me, like I said, it's dragons. Um... Because a lot of times the troop that I, the troops that I use don't shoot up. You know what I'm saying? Like if those giants that I had shot up, we would have been fine. But they don't even do that. I have to crack my neck. It hurts. Ugh! Did you guys hear that? That was ridiculous. So what we have now? Let's go ahead and watch it. Let's go ahead and watch this defense replay right here. Okay? Somebody wrecked me with Lava Loonian. Max balloons against the town all eight. Like okay, of course I'm gonna lose. He had his king, his queen, all air troops, the lava hounds. Watch this guy just completely wreck me. Otherwise, my base has been good. Nobody's touched my dark elixir. Nobody's touched anything. But this guy was like 1,700 dark elixir. Yeah, I feel like being a bully. So he's going to drop off his loons up here. He was aiming for the archer tower, but it went to the cannon, which actually makes me laugh pretty hard because that was not his idea. He really wanted to get the archer tower down. But he wasn't able to. So he's decided, all right, I'm just going to go from the bottom. Screw that. He drops off his Lava Hounds. Uh, they're not max. They are only level one. But they're taking so much uh, of the damage right now. And his balloons are just such high level. Like, look at this. His his Lava Hounds, guys, are still being focused. They, are, they haven't even gone down yet. So these loons are getting hit by the Archer Towers uh, and whatnot. But his Hounds are still alive. Look, both of them are right there. So there go all the Lava Pups jumping out uh, towards the rest of the base. There goes that rage spell, uh, and he was able to take out the uh, the Dark Elixir with the splash damage from the balloons and a little bit of help from those Lava Pups. So uh, it just wasn't too good, guys. My, my base wasn't built for that. My base wasn't built to defend against Lava Loonian, uh, but I guess if I'm going to be pushing, I should be expecting that, right? I guess I should be expecting that. So maybe I should have uh, more archers 
in towards the middle and not towards the edge protecting and and mortars towards the outside things like that uh, I think that, that might make it a little bit easier to protect against that but like I said I haven't been attacked by it yet I don't expect to be attacked by it too much more look at all of those minions right there just wrecking house uh, they're doing absolute work but I mean whatever what am I supposed to do about it right he's he takes everything he takes everything guys his queen is only level five his king's only level eight let's go check this guy out all right let's go look at his base I want to see what he's working with see who this guy is uh, what kind of a name is that so town hall nine yeah 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 freaking lava loonian he's up in crystal three uh 2147 uh that base dude bruh my walls are better than yours my walls are better than yours <laughs> but let's go ahead jump back guys we're gonna go ahead and research something so here's the question even though i'm just gonna end up doing it myself um do we want to do uh, hogs, minions, or that's all we can do right now. I think we're going to go for minions, guys. So we're going to go ahead, boom, upgrade those a week, guys. A week until those minions are done. We are crushing it with the Dark Elixir. We're spinning it all, guys. We are spinning all of the Dark Elixir. We do have 14 hours left on our shield, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and attack for you guys. Hopefully, we got to keep grinding. We got to keep grinding out that Dark Elixir. So Hopefully we can find some easy Dark Elixir, maybe 500 or more. I wouldn't mind getting about 1,500 in a raid. I'd be perfectly fine with that. Here we go. Look at this. 638 Dark Elixir right here on the edge for me. Thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and drop them off up here. Drop off a couple uh, wall breakers right there. They're definitely going to get in there and open up that wall for me. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop off a heal spell right there for the Giants as they get up in there. Drop off our... Uh, barbarians in there as well. Let's see if we can get. Oh uh, no, I really, really want my wall breakers to go in towards that air defense because then I'll be able to uh, drop off my healer. But they are not. Oh no, clan castle troops. Oh, look at all of them. One, two, three. There they go. And let's go ahead and come on, archers. I need y'all to get up in there. Get in there, archers. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop off our healer because they just took that down. But the archers are, pro or the healer's most likely not gonna go after. Yes, she is. She's going after the Giants. Thank you, Healer. So that's what we wanted her to do. Um, if we can get into the Town Hall, that'd be good. We will only get, like, uh, seven. I don't even know. Uh, five. We're only going to get five, ten trophies from this attack. But look, our Healer's doing a great job helping them out. Where's my King? My King's working his way around the outside. Let's make sure we, that we pick off all these extra buildings around the outside because we are going for... Uh, trophies guys so we'll drop some of those guys off our king's doing good look at that herd of giants right there this is how you do giant healer our healer did just go down though generally your healer only lasts for about half of the match um half of the match half of the attack just because there are way there are way too many uh there are way too many air defenses that you have to deal with oh no come on archers please what are they doing go go for the town hall Go for the town hall, oh, please, archers. Oh my gosh, look at this. This mortar's almost down. We're not going to get the town hall, guys. <laughs> yep, we're not because of that right there. Boom, she's down. All right, so we're just going to save our king then in battle. Gosh, we surrounded it all. But 519 dark elixir, like I said, I'm perfectly fine with that. Plus that 100 loot bonus. That adds up quick, guys. It adds up really, really quick. Um, I mean, think about how many times you attack in a day, and I need 30,000. So, I mean, 60... If I get that kind of attack every time, I only need 60 more attacks and I'll be able to upgrade again. Think about how many times y'all attack in a day. A lot of you probably attack at least 20 times, so that's in three days you can upgrade again. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we're working. That's what we're rolling with. Uh, I'm happy with this. I think we're doing good, guys. We do obviously still have our bombs and whatnot to upgrade, but once our walls are done, I'm going to be so, so excited. Uh, we can upgrade all of these to level five. So we have uh, five more of those to go as well i mean six so we have six more of those to go and then uh we'll be good i think can we upgrade our air mines no all right so all of our air mines so that one is level three that one's level three can we upgrade our seeking air mines what is this one that one's level three can't upgrade those seeking air mine can we upgrade those no all right so all we have left is the uh, the mini bombs guys and the walls and then we're maxed out besides our troops Besides our Dark Elixir troops. So super, super stoked about that. I'm going to keep rolling with this army comp. And I hope that you guys are enjoying the series. I'm loving Town Hall 8, guys. It's so much fun down here. I, I, I genuinely uh, have found a renewed joy in Clash of Clans because of Town Hall 8. Um, it gets kind of tiring playing the same up at Town Hall 10, you know. 
uh, you don't really have anything to look forward to. Yeah, I can upgrade to new levels and whatnot, but I don't know. It's more fun down here at the bottom, so... Uh, I'm gonna be focusing on this. I do have some uh, fun troll bases and whatnot that I've been doing with my Town Hall 10 that have actually been working pretty well. But I'll show you guys those in a video uh, later. This has been a long, long episode. Make sure you guys stop by for the stream later. Uh, we will be streaming more of this, guys. That is at twitch.tv forward slash gaming with molt. Uh, if you go there now and follow, you'll get a notification. But I'll see you guys there if y'all decide to stop by. It's gonna be at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. As always. Keep calm and clash on them, right? See you guys.